True with Guns America. Yesterday we put out a video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, about Liberty Safes and how they gave a customer's information to federal law enforcement simply on request to unlock their safe. I'm upset about it, many of you are upset about it. We promised you that if there was an update, we would update you. We emailed Liberty Safes and asked them to see the warrant to see if they were actually justified in having done this. They did not comply with our request. They did not send us the warrant, but they basically admitted that there wasn't one when they updated their media or their policies today. So, a couple things you need to know about this update before we get to what you really want to know, and that is who owns Liberty Safe and why that explains a lot about what's happening. So, the policy updates. Liberty Safe's updated their policy to be that if you don't want your information stored by them, you can request that it be removed and then it will not be there. Wouldn't be there if the FBI called in and asked for it. Sounds good. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure that it does away with the problem of them still having backdoor access to your safe, but it's a step. The second thing they did is they updated their policies on how they deal with law enforcement. I'm going to read this to you to make sure I get it right because I have some comments about this. Quote, we have also revised our policies around cooperation with law enforcement. Going forward, we will require a subpoena that legally compels Liberty Safe to supply access codes, but can only do so if these codes still exist in our system. Now, guys, here's the story about a subpoena. A lot of people think that you're required to just comply with them. And as an attorney, a practicing attorney, I can tell you that's just not true. Subpoenas don't have the same power as something like a search warrant. They're powerful, but they're not that powerful. Any attorney that's practicing can send out subpoenas and when you receive a subpoena if you don't want to comply with it you simply file a motion with the court to quash you get a hearing you get to go in front of a judge and you get to tell the judge why you shouldn't have to comply with this subpoena it's a high standard for them to meet and so guys what I'm getting at here is is for them to just blanket statement we're going to comply with all subpoenas is hot garbage they should be telling you, our name is Liberty Safe, Safe. we stand for freedom, and we're going to fight to keep our customers' privacy private. They didn't do that. Okay, That's not their new policy. They're just saying, hey, if, we're, if, if any sort of legal information comes along like a subpoena, we're handing it over. That's their new policy. That's what you should know. For me, that's strike two. All right, so strike three is who owns Liberty Safe. At least it's strike three for me. So who does own Liberty Safe? And the answer is that it's owned by a capital investment group called Monomoy Capital Partners. And they're a $2.7 billion firm located in New York. One of their founding members, his name is Justin Hildebrand, is the CEO of Liberty Safes. Now, why is this a problem? Well, the answer is because Monomoy Capital Partners has donated over $400,000 to political candidates and politicians that are absolutely anti-Second Amendment folks. So to start with, the CEO of Liberty Safes himself donated $4,600 to the Obama for America Fund. Other notable people that they have donated money to are Raphael Warnock, John Fetterman, if you don't know who that is, go Google it, Mandela uh, Barnes and Senator Mark Kelly. Now we're gonna talk about Senator Mark Kelly because he's married to someone that you should have heard of before named Gabby Giffords. Together, Gabby Giffords and Senator Mark Kelly run the Giffords organization that sole mission in life is to do away with the Second Amendment. Additionally, they would love to see mandated, meaning you're forced to, be, to store whatever firearms you have in a safe. Whoa, what? They're donating money to Politicians and organizations that would like to mandate that you are required to buy a safe? That is crazy to me. So guys, not only are they horribly anti-Second Amendment, the Giffords Foundation, but I mean, they're second only to Bloomberg. So this could not be a worse place to have donated money if you're a company that owns a Liberty Safe. They are making money off their customer base, our firearm owners, people that enjoy and exercise their Second Amendment rights, and they're absolutely throwing us under the bus here. For me, this is strike three. Please comment, tell us how you feel. If we've learned anything over the past few days and even months, including with the Bud Light fiasco, it's that the conservative voice matters, that if we make enough to a noise, we can absolutely make a difference and we can vote with our pocketbooks. We can tell these corporations to stop messing with our constitutional rights, to stop being woke, 
Comment, share, like, subscribe. We truly appreciate you watching. If there's more updates, you'll find them right here at Guns America. We'll see you next time. Thank you.